Here's a present for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but, good. That's it. Okay, yeah. but, it was just a normal flow of conversation. But I don't want to step on her toes if she wants to go yeah. out with you. Like. But, but I never asked her yeah, out. I was asking hey, you I, out. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Why would you have to join in the conversation? Oh, Yo! God, you're such a man. You're my type. And like, mm. I've been praying for somebody like you. <laughs> that <laughs> looking at you is so perfect. I'm going to wear the cutest Yo. jeans that I no. have. <laughs> we are going to go out to eat. We can go bowling. Rick Warrior What up, what up, folks? Tis Rick Wa, and for this video's reactions, keyword reactions, I'll be reacting to five videos, which all are by Nalzy Nals. Now, the first one of this is gonna be when you accidentally end up vibing with the ugly friend. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I'm I'm pretty sure I've probably like been in that situation like in an unintentional sense, hence accidentally. <laughs> it's just like no, that was not the mission. <laughs> Some tells me this one is just gonna be like very wildin' but also absolutely hilarious at the same time. Alright, and then the second one of this parents being over dramatic after an argument with a sibling. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like I've probably like been in that situation. It, at least like you know, my mom's starting to, like, get overdramatic when either my brother or I or my sister and I have gotten to, like, a very heated argument. I'm just trying to, like, I can't really remember, like, when specifically, but I'm pretty sure that has happened. And probably, yeah, definitely more times than not, I'm sure my father has been, like, overdramatic in that situation when one of my siblings and I have gotten into an argument, so... I guess there's that but i wonder how this one's gonna go at least in this situation then the third one of this how it be when you realize you're eating expired food man <laughs> i'm sure we have all been through that situation at least once in our lives at least once in our lives i know i've been through that situation at least a few different times in my life and it probably was like with expired milk and me not realizing that it was expired after like until after looking at the date on like the jug itself and it said expired at this time and like a week has passed and i'm like oh no <laughs> like oh shit. oh i'm cooked <laughs> Yo, and it is not a fun feeling. It's like not with dairy, not with milk, not with none, like no kind of expired food. It's like you realize it's expired at the worst time possible after already like munching down and shit. And it's just like, oh shit. <laughs> My stomach's fitting a be for a ride with this one. <laughs> oh man. All right, but I'm, I'm sure this one here is gonna be pretty wild and to say the least probably like a funny like twist to it as well And then we got this second to last one here. How guys be trying to be motivational after a breakup <laughs> Yo, I know a lot of people <laughs> who have been in a situation Myself included. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. That that's too relatable. But I'ma see like how like the skit goes. <laughs> Cause sometimes it's just like too wild in or over exaggerated. But obviously that over exaggerated bit is just for like the comedic twist of it. But we'll see how this one goes at the least. And then this last one here. How it feels when someone tries to make friends with you at work. Mm. <laughs> it's like, I can understand that could be 
Eh, I guess like an annoying type of concept. Well, it's more so depending on the situation and who you are in that situation. I guess for me, for example, like if I'm just like working my job and it's a job I don't really like too much, it's like I'm not really trying to interact with other coworkers. But if there's like that rare situation where like a coworker is actually pretty cool and pretty chill and not on some, oh, I'm gonna ride the manager's type of time, then it's just like, yeah, at least I can vibe out with like another coworker while we're working the same bullshit job like type of time. So at least there's that. But I, I personally feel like that's not really that common. So I can imagine at least like when someone's trying to make friends with you while you're at work, it, it's just like, bruh, I'm just trying to do my job, get paid and get the f out. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this kind of thing. But again, well, I'll, like I'll see how this one goes, at least with the skit and how that all plays out and whatnot. But y'all already know, how nowsy nows is content be and it's always a fun hilarious type of time with a little bit of wildness in the schmicks and also the concept of as well like there can also be times when certain videos can hit you very much so in the feels or are just like very relatable and also hit you in the feels at the at oh the, no <laughs> if only i could speak right at the same time it's like damn that, that hit hard in the feels so there's that and especially with how Nowsy Nows goes about and like really incorporates his like the music for setting the tone in certain situations, it's like oh sh something's about to happen. <laughs> so there's also that too. That's also very cool from Nowsy Nows for how he puts his videos and comedy skits together. But either way, I'm going to get right into it and I'm gonna switch over to the green screen webcam real quick for y'all. There we go, folks. Also, I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful day today as well, and please be sure to check out and support Nalzy Nals within his content creation journey, along with any other content creators that I react to in making sure to support them within their content creation journeys. But before I get started with this first one here, first things first, I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone for the positive support from watching my videos to liking my videos for the positive comments on my videos, sharing my content around as that does help with the algorithm, and especially to all of y'all who have subscribed to my channel and made sure to smack the bell button so then y'all know when it is that I'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel, and I greatly appreciate the support thus far and going forward. Y'all are amazingly awesome, folks. Okay! And if y'all want even more benefits when it comes to supporting my channel, y'all can also become a member by pressing that join button down below. And y'all can either be in the shoutouts tier, in which your name will be listed at the end of each of my reaction videos, or you can be in the early access tier, in which you'll be able to watch my reaction videos early before the initial scheduled upload time. And if you want even more benefits compared to both of those tiers, y'all can also check out my Patreon as well, in which that will be in the description below as well too, involving the shoutouts tier and the early access and more tiers. So just making sure to point that out for y'all to give that a look and check that out and supporting me even further. <laughs> so there's that. But without further ado and getting right into it, let's get started with this first one, shall we? of when you accidentally end up vibing with the ugly friend. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real, you funny and pretty. Oh my god, thank you. You really think I'm funny. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you say we both funny or just her? Nah, y'all both funny. Y'all both okay, funny. Okay, okay. You can kind of... Oh, oh wow. man, you can actually tell <laughs> you who's the ugly one. Well, <laughs> Yeah. I graduated from there too. Oh, you graduated from there too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's Yo. what's up. You got a couple Einsteins right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, he's trolling. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> For me, I, I wasn't in the school. Like, so yeah. I graduated, <laughs> I went straight to my trade. Okay. And then I. I mean, up. you look like you're doing well for yourself either way. Yeah, no, it worked out for me. I'm doing good. Got my own business and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yo. So, like, I took the right path. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cool. Yeah. You got your own business. Not yeah. for real. The, the no, ugly friend see, uh, sounds with, like, was, like, you like, like a Muppet. Like, you would definitely be my type. <laughs> okay. I just want to tell you. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, like some kind of Muppet. Like I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. I want to hang out too. Or maybe we can all hang out together. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah we can no. all hang out oh. together. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I, <laughs> hey, that's cool. I was like, 
He made a big mistake with that you one. Know, anything, whatever's well, gonna get her out the house. Oh? No, no, no. But I'm saying we all vibing, so like you know, right? Like I can come through, and we can just make it a whole right. thing yeah. where we like hang out together. <laughs> oh no, it's just my opinion. Hell no. no. <laughs> I mean, my schedule is really flexible. Honestly, we both got the same schedule, and we free this weekend. It's so just like, like, why? Why? Like that? why are you asking? Like when we free? Well, no, I was just asking because, like I said, I wanted to take her to the movies <laughs> and uh, take her. Oh my God, it's giving a real intentional man. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and intentionality comes when you want something, and, and I kind of know what I want when I'm looking. Hey, real quick, girl, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm gonna let you two talk, okay? Okay, that's cool. Mm. I mean, oh, you guys are really vibing, so. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, she's no! good, no. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I was just, I was like, just. Like, it's okay if you're yeah. vibing. Yeah. 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 No, I was, I was. Yo, why does that have to be first? Yo, he's crying right now. Wait, 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 Guy, you're such a man. You're my type, and like I've been praying for somebody like you. That look is gonna be so perfect. Like, I'm gonna wear the cutest Yo! jeans that I know. We gotta go out to eat. We can go bowling. We can just hang out and Netflix and chill if you want to. Like honestly, oh, I'm not damn. gonna turn down food. The like, I'm like me, I love to eat. He I is going the road. I just be on that 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 that. dog oh f no dog i've definitely been in that situation where i accidentally was vibing with the ugly friend who i was not trying to bag <laughs> yo niles character was just going through it <laughs> tears and Everything looking mad distressed, yo. <laughs> yo, like I may like have not am showing that degree of just like damn, I did not want this situation, but just like in my mind, just like the internal screaming <laughs> and the <laughs> Yo, that that would have definitely been a thing, at least in my mind, in that situation. Because it's like, God damn, I did not want you! I wanted the pretty John! <laughs> Yo, God, that should be the fucking worst! <laughs> it's just like, why are you in the conversation? I was trying to vibe with the hot friend, not with the ugly friend! <laughs> like... Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's too damn funny. <laughs> Good stuff to that one. Now we're on to this next one here. Parents being overdramatic after an argument with a sibling. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Already shenanigans. Oh God, yeah. oh shenanigans God. already be happening. Ma? Oh Ma, are you okay? Damn. Damn. Ma. It's okay. Mom, talk to me. Are you okay? What's going on? I can't even. I mean, what, what, what happened? Like, are you late on a bill? Did, did, did somebody do, like, what, what's going on? I can help. I'm here. No, 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 it's no, me. no. I, I, don't, I don't want you involved. No, I'm already involved. The minute I heard you breaking down crying, you my mother. I'm involved. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. Ma, I'm not, I'm not about to just walk away and you sitting here breaking down crying. I'm not watching that happen. Like, what, talk to me. It's, it's your brother. What did, what did he do? What, did he say something disrespectful? Cause I, I'll call him right now if that's the case. No, don't, don't call him. I, 
it's just that, you know. What's up? I got the couch. Mm -hmm. You know the couch that I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the couch you're trying to get rid of. You put it up on Facebook Marketplace and offer up, right? Yeah, I did put it up on there. But, but no, no, nobody was wanting to buy it. They just felt like it wasn't worth the money. And that's fine if they feel that way. But, you know, I contacted your brother and I said, hey, I, I have a couch for you. It's in really good condition. And, and it's yours. You can have it. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is come and pick the couch up from my house. Mom. That's all I asked them to do was to come pick it up. Yo! He doesn't have a truck to come pick that couch up. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Why that's that's like relating that to one of the last videos I've been acting to. I'm, I'm, Yo! Okay, so you're taking his side. No. So you're inconsiderate I'm not too. So, to so y'all can go be, No, that's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. I said they come pick the couch up. You want to say he ain't got no truck? Yo, okay. But I'm telling you, it's impossible. He can't come put on. the couch on top of his car. Like, that's illegal. <laughs> Well, I, it's right? okay. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I should have never told you about anything. It didn't have anything to do with you in the first place. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what? I'm, I'm, I'm worried about you. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be here much longer. No, it's not that deep. It, like, you don't even have to start going down that route. It's not, it's not necessary for us to be even talking like that. I'm not going to be here much longer, and I, I can already feel it. I overstayed my welcome, and, and it's, I'm going to be out of y'all here really soon. Okay. Really soon. You don't have to worry about no damn couch. Yeah. Uh, my mouth, my attitude, nothing. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. Damn. I'm going to be gone. Way soon. too I'm over gonna be dramatic. Gone real soon. Mom. Stop. All right, Stop! I don't want to hear any more. I'm done. I'm done. Damn. <laughs> Yo, the over dramatic crying. <laughs> That, that is wild. How, like, this actually ties into a previous um, video that I reacted to with one of my, like, you know, hilariously wild and nowsy nows content reactions. There, there was a video I reacted to. Some with, like, when parents try to get, like, siblings to beef with one another or something like that. And it was just, like, it all started because <clears throat> after the party with the brother and whatnot... Like, the mom was being petty or something like that, and it was because the, the one uh, sibling couldn't pick up a couch, or couldn't pick up the mom's couch because he didn't have, like, a truck to pick up the couch. So that That's actually pretty wild that that was, like, I guess kind of like the origin spot for that? That is very interesting, though, and <laughs> it's cool that, like, that was bought into, like, a later video. So, that is pretty cool, to say the least. But damn. That mom was being hella over dramatic. <laughs> so, maybe, yeah, that's not exactly, okay. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. So, I, I definitely misread, like, the title within the situation. <clears throat> that I'll say is a fact. I was thinking, like, parents being over dramatic after siblings get into an argument with one another. Like, that, that's how I read it in my mind. I'm, I'm sorry about that, folks. <laughs> But it's actually when, like, they get into an argument with a sibling and then another sibling asks the parent, hey, what's wrong? And then the parent starts explaining their argument with said other sibling. <clears throat> so then, I don't think I've been in that situation now that, like, after I watched the skit and actually am realizing where <laughs> I misinterpreted what was in the title. I'm sorry about that, folks, once again. But, yeah, no, I don't think I've ever been in that situation, and not even when my father was alive, either. Yeah, my father has been passed away since 2012, so I'm just pointing that out. But, <clears throat> yeah, just, I don't think I've been in that situation like that. At least, like, one of my siblings getting into an argument with one of my parents, then, like, you know, one of my parents, you know, getting all over dramatic, and then me trying to ask, y'all okay? And then they start, like, explaining, and there's just some, like, wild dumb... No, I, I don't think I've been in that situation. And I don't think my siblings have been in that situation either. I don't think so. <laughs> 
But good stuff to that one. Especially just like like the over dramatic, like over the top type shit. <laughs> but now we're on to this next one here of how it be when you realize you're eating expired food. Oof. Choppers, they in water, they got drip on. Um. Move my wrist on. Um. Now I'm rocking Rick. Yeah, that was all of my wrist. Hello, Charlie, way too thick. Yeah, stay about that mix. Five and out with the chips. Yeah. Ain't no monster, ain't no it's monster. It's gonna hit him like a truck. Yeah. It's gonna cost you. I like Mike Jack, leave you hanging off that cliff. You can prosper if I can. Mm, 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 mm. Good, bro. Good, bro. Those my chips? Mm hmm. You just gonna grab my stuff like that, bro? I mean, you had them sitting there, so I'm like, shoot, I might as well help myself to something. I mean, maybe it would have been a good idea if you would have just texted me and asked me. I mean, you be eating my stuff too, so I ain't see like it was a problem. No, I mean, I, uh, yeah, you're right. We roommates, I mean, we share everything, and it's just snacks, it's chips. I'm not about to press you about that, but what I'm saying is you should have asked me because I, I, I could have told you that, like, well, do you even know when I got those chips? Like, they've been sitting in there for a minute. Well, how would I know when you bought the chips? I don't walk around with your receipts. All I know is they good as hell. I mean, I'm only telling you you should have asked me because I would have been able to tell you that those chips are expired, bruh. Like, they've been expired for a while. Damn! For a while! Oh, you playing, bruh. You're not serious. No, oh, I'm so serious. Those no. chips expired like three years ago. They've been sitting in the cabinet for three years. Three like, years ago? Come three on, bro. Use that. Years. I mean, I have literally no reason to lie. I'm not Damn. mad about the chips. Like, you can look on the bag. Look at the expiration date. Bro, you did not buy these chips three years ago. Like, where's the expiration date? Look, it literally says it right here. November 11th, 2021. 20, 20, bro. Damn, bro. It ain't Off taste funny rim. to you like when you when you started eating them like <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Oh no when I tasted it it, it was alright. Not when I tasted it. Now, uh, <laughs> oh, damn. That's tough. Damn. Um Are we gonna damn. do it? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh <laughs> we might have to, to go to the doctor or something. Oh. Damn! Yo! Uh, oh. Uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, I'm gonna no. call 911. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah! Damn. <sighs> what? <sighs> Damn, struggling. The stru Damn. What? Hey, 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 I'm gonna have to call the ambulance, bro. You want an ambulance, or do you want me to just take you? <laughs> oh, Yo! I mean, bro, you should have just texted me and asked first. I ain't know you. Hey, call the ambulance, bro. Damn. Uh, call the ambulance. Nah, I'm for real. Call the ambulance. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yo. Oh, oh. Now. Oh, this bad. This bad, bro. <coughs> Yo. Oh, let me, let me. Damn. Yo. Ooh. Um. <sighs> Damn. What the <sighs> Hold on, hold on. Let me get you a bag and, and some paper towels. Hold on, right there. I need some water. Oh no, yo! <laughs> God damn, dog! <laughs> oh no, the aftermath was just on that notion. <laughs> Oh no, bucko. That was definitely one of the more wild ones, but just. <laughs> Yo, that was bonkers. Yeah, it's never been like that bad, but just, oof. I know I said I've been in a situation like that before when it comes to expired milk, but it's just like. So the, so I'll give like a better example. So it's like, I'm having a bowl of cereal. I didn't pay attention to when the milk expired. And then just like, I taste it as in the cereal with the milk. And I'm like, something doesn't taste right. And then I look at the, and then I look at like the expiration date on the milk. I'm like, oh sh And then I, you know, obviously take a whiff from inside of the bottle. I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> like that type of time 
Mm -mm -mm. You hate to see it, and especially, like, you know, hate being in that kind of situation as well, too. But chips that expired three years ago? God damn! <laughs> Yo, that's so fucked. What? <laughs> that is insane. How, how, like, how does someone go about keeping a bag of chips for three plus years? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Good stuff to that one. Now we're on to this next one here of how guys be trying to be motivational after a breakup. Man! <laughs> I mean, you sure, bro? It, it almost sounds like like you're not even processing, like you just going through things. Like, you you sure you good? Nah, well, that would just straight up be an assumption on your end, cause I'm I'm definitely processing things, and even the way you define processing is the act of taking your feelings and managing them, and then just being able to look at them from like an outside perspective. Yeah, that, okay, that and that's something like that friend, I'm doing every day. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, I'm not gonna let that affect my work schedule, my money coming in. How I'm spending time with my friends and family, like I can't let it do that type of thing. Okay. Because at the end of the day, like she wasn't nothing more than just a partner to me, bro. Like it's not like she was my heart. What you mean she wasn't your heart? I mean you was with that girl for five years. Like you was in love with her. Even when I was with her, I always had stuff that I was putting my mind into. You know what I'm saying? So that's good, bro. I'm just here as a friend, bro. As long as you're doing good, I'm doing good. I'm happy with yep. you. You like it? I love it, bro. Like you know, a lot of dudes after a breakup, like they just they lose themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like. They don't know what to do with their time, their mind, yep. like nothing. Try and it's just because the they put their whole stuff. mindset and their heart and their life into this one woman. So you like, know, I ain't never do that. Why does someone tell me that, that the friend okay. that's trying to be motivational I mean, is going hey, to start breaking it, down? Like I said, you like it, I love it, dog. It's not that it didn't affect me because I am human. I'm not a robot. And I do feel things. But at the same time, like, my mental is at a certain level where uh -huh. I won't let it stop my trajectory. You I get mean, what I'm saying? So I, I got to keep on going. That's my outlook on everything. That's just how I see it. You know, you know what I'm saying? OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something I wanted to tell you, too, just because, like, even with, you know, Shawty, you was talking to, I understand when y'all split, like, I, you was in a down bad place i mean well yeah i mean that's normal i was sad i mean i went through a breakup so that's like people get sad after a breakup yeah yeah I mean, yeah yep. and if i could that, tell that you anything true. bro keep your eye on the prize mm. that girl none of these girls bro even the future girl that you talk to mm -hmm. none of them equate to the value of who you are yeah. as a man and then your own person you know what i'm saying like i know you had ambitions goals and dreams before you met her <sighs> yeah i feel you it's you it's your life you going in that casket alone. So I guess like with that mindset, like what, what, do, what do you think about like the timeline as far as like moving on? Like how you how you feel about that? Like you moving on? Uh, I mean, moving on, it's not really like something I'm thinking about mm -hmm. uh, just because I don't sit around just thinking about women all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about my goals, my ambitions, mm -hmm. the next level that I'm trying to reach, new heights that I'm trying to reach. Right. I got promotion on the way at work. So it's, it's a bunch of stuff. I'm not just sitting here thinking about okay. when the next time I could, I could get some cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm thinking about elevating high than what a woman could bring me to. You get what I mean? Okay, so I guess I would ask, like, what, what do you think about, like, her moving on? Like, how, how would you see that for her? Huh? You know how, like I said, about she moving forward? Like, how do you feel about her moving on? Well, well, I mean, I don't, I don't think that she would be in that mindset either. Like, why, why oh, what made yo. you ask me about her? Like, you, you seen something? I, or like, yep, like, here what, comes what the it? music. Like, you Changing the whole tone. Why would she be oh, in that mindset? Oh, man. Here I'm come like, the no, tears. I, I just don't want you to ask questions. You're not prepared for the answer. But I, if, if it was too much, like, we could just cut the conversation. Yo. I don't want to even, like, push but, it. But, but tell me, what, what did you see exactly? I was on uh, I was on Instagram, and I looked at her story, and uh, she, uh, she was at a steakhouse. She went to a steakhouse? Yeah. Okay. Another dude. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure like she she just working on elevating her mind too. I mean, it, I don't, just because she had a steakhouse, it don't mean she was on a date, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> I felt the same way. I'm like, I mean, it could be a birthday party, friends, family. <laughs> like, I mean, she's just, she could have been out with her friends, right? So like when I seen the first story, it was just her plate. And I was just like, damn, the food looked good. Now, the, the, the second story she posted, mm -hmm. the camera was angled up a little bit further from the plate. Yeah. I saw a hand. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not going to lie, bro. The n***a hand looked strong. His hand was an upgrade. <laughs> he ran bracelets that she can't afford. Now, 
No, nah, that's great. I, I think, I think, I think, uh, I'm happy Yo. for that. Dirty, no good, lying, cheating, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hey. And she ain't even wash her panties, bro. No, nah, you, you asked for the details. I'm she just. You want to move forward? Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold just on. You want to move forward with all me? <laughs> you, 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 you just had to let it Yo! Out. Oh my god, dog. <laughs> I, I had this feeling that he was just gonna break down and lose it. And the moment the other friend just asked him the question of, how do you feel about your girl moving on? And that's when the whole tone switched up. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy because it really do be like that. God damn. You gotta respect the comedy creativity or the comedic creativity that Nowsy Nows be putting into the schmicks of these skits and just how relatable these kinds of situations are within everyday life for any of us. So, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff to that second to last one. And, let's see. Oh. Just making sure I do that, because obviously it deserves the like. Yep, yep, yep. Just double, triple checking, making sure I don't have too much of a brain fart. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. And me being a goof. <laughs> but once again, good stuff to that second to last one. And now we're on to this last one here. How it feels when someone tries to make friends with you at work. <laughs> What time you off today, bro? Like another hour or so. Okay, you ain't got much longer left. Mr. Jacobs got me doing two more houses after this. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Well, at least your check gonna be looking big, right? Man, who you telling? I'm about to be feeling like Jeff Bezos when I get paid. <laughs> nah, for real. What you want tomorrow, though? Uh, I mean, I'm off, so probably just kicking it with the family. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. I'm off, too. Okay, well. That's a good thing. That means you're gonna be able to chill, especially since you got two more houses to do after this. Yeah, let me let me ask you something. Uh, I, I was thinking, thinking what? You know, since since we both about to be off tomorrow, um, I, I I saw I saw that you you know you a basketball fan. Uh -huh. You be playing basketball. Uh huh. How long you been doing that? How, how you know I be playing basketball? How did you see that? Oh no, I I saw it because you posted something on your Instagram story, and then I saw a couple of posts on Instagram where you was playing basketball, and I'm like, yo, okay, oh, yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. I, I, did, I mean, I didn't even know that you was following me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow you on Instagram. I had typed yeah, your name. And then your no! Right oh, so just, hell okay, no! Wait to follow hell you. no! Anyways, um, I was going to see you since you we both off tomorrow. You know, I ain't know if you wanted to like hit the rec up with me. We could like play some basketball, get some ones going. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I figured that, that that's where you was going with that. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to just let you know right now. Uh, we are, we just co-workers. Huh? That I don't, I don't part, know, like, if you got something confused or mixed up because you decided to go on my Instagram and follow me. You know? And, uh, I, I don't, I don't want my coworkers following me, to be quite frank with you. We're not friends. We work together. I mean, hey, hey it was just a question I, I was just asking, bro. It was like, it wasn't I, that. I, I don't want to play basketball with you. I don't want to go to the movies with you. Mm. I don't want to go out to eat. Grab lunch with you. I mean, I, don't, uh, I know you got your girl, your wife, whatever one it is. I don't need to know the distinction whether y'all married or not. It's not my business. I don't want to go on no double dates with you. No, 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 I get you. I get you. I, uh, nothing extracurricular that you do outside of the job, to be honest with you. Yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah. No, I get you. I, I just don't have nothing to do with you. I, 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 yeah, I'm sure you just come to, come to work. Yo. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not your friend. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I got friends outside of this. Yeah, no, no, that's that's valid. I mean, I got friends outside of here, too. I was Dude, like, like, our personalities don't even matter. Like, when, when I'm here working, we don't need to be talking. That's awkward. So what, what you think? We're going to, like, magically talk on the basketball court? We don't talk now. Like, I'm, we just, we working, bro. Let's just keep it there. No, you absolutely right. We Damn. can just keep it at work. Actually, I'm going to just contact Mr. Jacob and see if I can just do a different shift from here on out. I mean, why, why would you need to call me? <laughs> I'm not even comfortable now at this point. 
I mean, it's just a question, bro. Like, it's not that deep. Nah, nah, because I don't want it to be nothing extra going forward. I'm good, bro. I'm going to just call Mr. Jacobs. You ain't, ain't got to do that. That's probably going to put my job in jeopardy, bro. Don't do that. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm going to call Mr. Jacobs. That's cool. Where my phone at? Hey, 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 hold on. I just said don't call Mr. Jacobs, bro. Don't play with that. That's going to change my money. Don't do that, bro. Damn. <laughs> Yo. That's wild. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, like, <laughs> like once he said that he was like following his Instagram, and the one dude was like, "How? Like, I didn't even know you were following me on Instagram." It was just like, "Oh, hell no, dog. That is an omega hard pass." <laughs> Oh my god, yo. So, like, yeah, no, that has never been a thing with me when it's come to, like, how I've associated with other co-workers, like, you know, on the job, like, type of time. Yeah, again, there might have been, like, a couple of co-workers that I was, like, you know, relatively cool and chill with, and they were, like, vibing out as well, too, on the job. And so, it was just, like, that type of time. And even, like, after I left uh, the last job I was working at, Marshall's. Yeah, like, I only was friends with maybe, like, two co-workers there. So, yeah. Because at least, like, they understood how, like, f the job was for me, like, at the time that I was working and all that. So, yeah. But, oh, that that is wild. Because <laughs> it's, like, again, when I, it's like when any of us are working at a job, we are there to just work our f job and get paid and get the f on out. Like... It's like DYJ. Just <laughs> do your job and mind your own business. Because <laughs> I was just trying to do my job, mind my own business, <laughs> get the shift done, get the f out, and just get paid at the end of the week. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. But once again, just like. Like, great, amazing stuff to Niles he Niles for these five videos. And just, like, the way he goes about and puts his skits together. Just, like, even, like, the tone of the music. How, like, wildin', hilarious, <laughs> and relatable. And sometimes videos that hit you in the fields as well, too, from his content. So, just making sure to point that out. But all five of these were definitely very enjoyable and hilarious, to say the least. <laughs> but, either way... I'm going to switch back over to the regular webcam real quick for y'all. There we go, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed all five of those as much as I did, to say the least. And also, once again, as well, too, great, amazing stuff to all five of these videos from Nalzy Nals. But either way, I'm at the end point of this reaction video. And if y'all have gotten thus far, I do greatly appreciate that. Because basically, I'm for the bounce. So there's that. And if y'all like this kind of content on my reaction channel, of course, please be sure to leave a like, leave a positive comment, share my content around, as that does help with the algorithm. And if y'all have not already yet, of course, please be sure to smack that subscribe button and the bell button, so then y'all know what it is, that I'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel. And I greatly appreciate that support thus far and going forward. Y'all are amazingly awesome, folks. <laughs> And as well, too, if y'all want to, uh, like, you know, get some extra benefits when it comes to my reaction channel, y'all can also become a member and smack that join button and either be in the shoutouts tier or in the early access tier. <clears throat> if you want even more benefits compared to both of those on my YouTube memberships, then y'all can also check out my Patreon and become a member of my Patreon, either in the shoutouts tier or in the early access and more tier. So just making sure to point that out as well, too, for y'all. But either way... Until the next reaction video that I upload, folks. Peace out, y'all.